Hello, Paradise Panther artists. My name is Mrs. Telfer, and I'm excited to be with you today to tell you about our next master artist, Pablo Picasso. Picasso was a famous Spanish painter from the 20th century. He experimented with many different styles of artwork, but he became very well known for his great contributions to the style of Cubism. He would break a figure apart and then reposition it in an abstract way. So let's take a look at Picasso's long career as an artist. Here we go. Let's pretend you have a father who is a famous artist. He wants to paint your portrait, so you pose for him in his studio. A studio is a place where an artist paints. He is going to paint you twice. In the first portrait, you will be sitting in a chair wearing a clown costume. The second one also has you sitting in a chair, but this time you will be holding an orange, which is your favorite fruit. I'm wondering if the portraits will look the same because the same artist has painted them. Let's see how this famous artist painted his children. These portraits look very different from each other, but the same artist painted them. The first portrait of Paul is Picasso's son, and it is a realistic looking painting. It's like a photograph. But the second portrait does not look realistic. He painted Paloma, his daughter, in an abstract style, which means it does not look real, and it does not look like a photograph. Our artist kept changing the way he painted. That is why these portraits don't look like the same artist painted them, because they were not painted at the same time. He became very famous because of his different ways of painting. Let's meet today's master artist, Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso was born in Spain. As a child, Picasso could draw before he could even write or even talk. He would sit happily drawing for hours. His drawing became so good that he went to an art school when he was only 13 years old. He was given drawing exercises and he finished them in only a few hours. It took much older students months to do the same exercises. Without using your voice, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if this has ever happened to you. When the sun is shining, and you feel happy inside, everyone you meet seems happy too. Give me a thumbs up if that has happened to you. But if you're in a bad mood or sick, everyone around you seems unhappy. Give me a thumbs up if that has happened to you. Thank you, you can put your hands down now. When we are feeling sad, we sometimes say that we feel blue. Show me your sad blue face. Maybe it's a frown. Thank you. For Picasso, feelings were very important. He had a time in his life when he was sad and when he painted that sad feeling showed. This was called his blue period. Next, let's look at a painting he did during his blue period. Here, Picasso was feeling lonely. He was poor and had no hope when he did this painting. So he painted the way he felt. Look closely. I wonder if you notice that the man's fingers nervously reach out for the pitcher on the table. That's because the man isn't sure where the pitcher is on the table. The title of this painting is 
The Blind Man's Meal. The main color in this painting is blue. When Picasso was feeling blue, he painted with blue. Blue is a cool color. Let's look at other portraits Picasso painted during his blue period. We can tell that these are blue period paintings because we see a lot of the color blue. The people look sad and their heads hang down. Also, the man is blind. After just four years of painting these sad looking pictures in blue, Picasso changed to a new way of painting. Let's find out why. I'm happy to say life got better for Picasso. He met some friends, he got married, and he even started to sell some paintings. When he was happy, it showed in his paintings. There is an expression, life is rosy. Things are good when life is rosy. Picasso's next paintings are called his rose period, and they were a little happier. Rosy red is a warm color. We see many warm colors in this painting, such as orange, rose, pink, red, and brown. Picasso still used blue colors, but he made the painting happier looking by adding warm colors like rose. Picasso loved the circus. He became friends with some of the circus performers and traveled around with them as they went from town to town doing their circus shows. Most of the rose period paintings were of circus people. This painting shows a circus family wearing their costumes. When you go to a circus, it can make you feel excited and happy. But Picasso did not show the circus family in this way. Here, he didn't show them performing in the circus. Maybe he wanted to show that circus people were not always happy when they weren't performing. These are also rose period paintings. We can tell because he used warm colors, especially in the circus costumes. The mother and son are looking a little bit tired after their acrobatic performance in the circus. The boy is still wearing his costume and they have sat down for a meal. It wasn't long before Picasso came up with another way to paint. Be prepared to be surprised. Picasso used his imagination and started a totally new way of painting, like you see here. Because of the invention of the camera, it was no longer necessary for artists to paint things to look realistic. Artists were free to use their imagination and try new ways of looking at things. This kind of painting is called cubism. It is called that because the pictures were made of little cubes or boxes. Picasso painted as if he could see all sides at once. He wanted you to see all the interesting shapes and colors, and not what it really looked like. This painting reminds me of a puzzle that I might have fun putting together. Let's look carefully for clues in this painting. Raise a quiet hand if you have an idea about what these three men do for a living, and your teacher will call on you. Yes, thank you, they are musicians. You can put your hands down now. The title of this painting is Three Musicians. But Picasso didn't paint his musicians in regular clothes. He painted them in circus clown outfits. Let's look at the three instruments the musicians are playing. The first man is playing the violin. 
The second man is playing a clarinet or a horn. And the third man is playing an accordion or a keyboard. Now, look at the music in front of them. Picasso loved music, and music instruments can be found in many of his paintings, as in this next one coming up. This is a Cubist painting. The title is Mandolin and Guitar. Look for the guitar. It is white and red right here. But it is a mixed up view of the guitar. Remember that in Cubism, the artist shows you all sides. If you look carefully, you will also see the top side and the bottom of the yellow mandolin right here. Here's the top side and the bottom side. We can see all sides. Picasso used very bright colors and he repeated them. Notice the blues in the sky. Picasso also used blue on the wall and under the table. Now, let's go on a pattern search. A pattern is a line, shape, or color that repeats. Picasso used a lot of patterns in this painting. He repeated the blue design on the tablecloth, right here. He also repeated the squares that are on the floor, right here and right here. And he repeated the squares on the ceiling, here and right here. Picasso repeated those colors and patterns you just found for a reason. He knew it would make your eyes keep searching through the painting. Great job today, learning about the many different styles and periods of art from our master artists. Pablo Picasso. I wonder if you have a favorite period or piece of artwork from Picasso. Well, coming up in your art activity, you will get to dive into the world of the three musicians and create a cubist composition using chalk staining. Have a great day, Paradise Panther artists, and I will see you next time.